is a brief guide on um, how to access um, Windows apps on school-based um, Chrome OS devices. So that's our Chromebooks and our Chrome bases and our Chrome boxes. So if you log on to any sort of Chrome-based machine, you can access Windows apps. So what do you have to do? Well, as a member of staff, you'll have um, this app pinned to your uh, shelf at the bottom, access to go. And there are other apps you could use called Remote um, Times 2 and um, Chrome RDP, but this is the one that's there for you to use. So all you do is click on it and it will launch up that screen. Now, <clears throat> one of the things you can optionally choose to do is go full screen at this point. So you can have the full screen as a Windows experience. So I'll press the full screen button, which is the fifth key along on the top of the keyboard from the left. Okay, it looks like it's got a screen with two little arrows in the corner and that takes us full screen. I'm just going to close the thing saying I want feedback. If you mouse up to the top or the bottom, it'll unhide the shelf or all your tabs and bookmarks and things. So within school, you can type in RDP. That will give you a classic sort of Windows style, um, a Windows 7 style interface. If you want to go a little bit more new age, put RDP2 and that will give you um, uh, Windows 8 type appearance via Server 2012 R2. So I'll go for RDP2. RDP2 or 1 will do fine. If it's, so that or that. And that's all you have to do. And click on connect. You don't need to put in the username and password. Or you will need to log in. So there we go. And I'm just going to log on to this as me. Okay, so put in your normal network username and password and it will log you on just as if you were on a school desktop. While it's logging in, of course, you can just uh, go back to anything else that you might be uh, looking at and open up other tabs. So you've got Chrome running there as well. This simply runs in a tab. So you've got a Windows machine there and you've got any number of documents, um, your drive, your mail and so on with any other number of tabs that you want to have open. So I'll go back to that. Okay, and there we have a Windows desktop full screen on um, a Chromebook. So from here on your Chromebook I can click on Word and fire up Office 2010 and it's just like typing on any other computer. Close that down. Don't want to save that. If you want to access Sims, just double click on Sims and you'll have Sims running on a Chromebook via um, this little app. Um, if you want to be a little bit bizarre, you can launch Chrome on a Windows machine um, on a Chromebook. I'm not quite sure why you might want to do that though. And if you want to log off, just click on the start button, and then you see a sort of Windows 8 interface. Click on your name and sign out. And you're back to where you are. And that's all there is to it. And that allows you to access your normal Windows style applications and um, local files in the same way as you would if you were logging on to a school PC. Hopefully that's a uh, useful little quick guide. You can do this from home as well um, if you put in the external host name which is on the uh, user guide. Okay, thank you very much for uh, watching.